Hello everybody, a while back I made a video in which I bought a Streamline Scania V8, an older generation, I call classic as somebody might say. That was in Euro Truck and that was a few days ago. Now we are in American Truck and this little beauty is the truck I drove around for the last couple of days and I really want to talk about it because I really enjoyed it driving it now without further ado we're gonna talk about the volvo vnl talking about it we're gonna talk about the components and how you can configure it and how it feels let's start with how it feels just joking. let's go on the technical bit and see what this uh, thing is made of and also what makes it tick starting with the cabs we have three options let's go we have day cab which is the smallest the sleeper the smaller sleeper how i call it the 740 and the 860 which is the big you know sleeper i'm just totally surprised about this huge chunk of a vehicle is actually real because i've seen this and no, I'm not American, and these kinds of trucks would be considered some sort of monsters and probably the military would be involved two minutes after one of these things would show up on a European road. That being said, moving on to the chassis. The chassis are kind of the usual thing. We have the short one in four variants, the mediums and longs, specially assorted with the cabs coming back uh yes moving on. that's actually my configuration and i'm gonna talk about it soon so pay attention moving on to the engines personally if this is the first truck you buy or you're just starting in american truck please don't go for the cummins performance because you can very well go for the volvo d13 500 horsepower and save out four thousand dollars for some other stuff i don't know what other stuff because you cannot do much to this thing anyway right now this might change in the future so this is really a quite this is really for people who watch this in 2023 not later because i don't know what this is, is gonna do to this thing and I really, really hope this Volvo gets one of the engines from the FH on the Euro truck side of uh, the equation because it really needs more power. Anyways, as you can see in the truck analysis tab, the D13 500 horsepower and the Cummins X15 are basically identical in the stats. The main difference between these two engines is the horsepower of the Cummins coming in at 565 and the Volvo coming in at 500 dead and that's pretty much it. Uh, coming to the transmissions you have a plethora of options starting from 6 you got 6, 10, 12, 13 whatever thousand speeds you like personally I go with the 18 speed with retarder because why not and actually i think it's the very best when it comes to pulling heavier cargo when it comes to the inside we have four main options that are fleet standard touring and limited this being the fleet which is basically the poor version uh and for those of you who want to buy the more expensive version of the interior, keep in mind that the difference is about almost $8,000. And the main difference between them is this plastic bit, trim, sorry, and the dual cut. And maybe the seats. This is the Volvo leather exclusive seat so yeah you know what if it's worth 
your money or not coming to the steering wheel you have two options the standard and the premium which premium comes with uh, some leather with this orange material which i think is kind of cool uh the seats are a lot of options you know from this to wow like i wasn't really expecting this many options for the seats anyways for the floors we have three options we have the duty which is basically a rubber slash plastic floor stock no bells and whistles then you have the basic which is basically that basic floor with basically a rubber carpet on top of the basically rubber carpet then we go to migration which i don't know why they call it migration because i don't see anything migrating on it or it being useful at migrating that is basically take the uh, basic rubber and replace the rubber with the exact same design but in textile that being said on the outside you cannot do much to this particular truck we have the mirrors the bug deflector grill the hood is basically the unmovable this sun visor can be chromed out i don't know why would you do that if you have all the <sighs> ships in the harbor if you know what i mean you can have a horn adapter flags and then the usual assortment of uh, wheel and the uh, side pod adjustment like this this you know being kind of cool and all uh personally yeah you can change the gas tanks and uh, this uh, arrow bit again the catwalk also you can change the exhaust to put double pipes because it's not an american trophy truck it it doesn't have double exhausts and yeah pretty much that's it this bits which personally i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of them in regards to modifications you can add a bit of plastic around this which personally i don't see the point theoretically should make them more aerodynamic but i don't think so um you can add the uh, strobe lights or hazard lights and warning flags but again i wouldn't bother bubble bars and the bumper modifications that again these things are like basic and i'm not gonna go in depth because i'm not gonna spoil your fun nor i'm gonna tell you how you should configure your truck regarding outside features now the thing i would like to talk about is this thing's um dashboard let me tell you what i mean. so this is the dash and what i love about it is this let me close the virtual helper look i'm going through the menus right now i'm not gonna go into too much in depth you got this one which shows you the distance to empty the remaining fuel oil temperature water temperature air pressure and this personally is i think one of the most important screen and the best made screens of all the trucks in the game to me period because i have the speed the fuel economy the driving time on the left and on the right we have the range we have the amount of fuel in the trunk in the tank and on the um, lower right hand we have the driving bloody time I played this game for quite a long time okay I'm not playing this game like I've seen some other people play this game like, you know let's have fun in you in American truck like drive like maniacs I drive like I would be in real life 
and having that information over there and uh, helping me not use the virtual help is a tremendously important feature for me personally uh, i would like to see the tablet or the tachograph that would normally go in a truck in reality but up until that point this is the best i can do when it comes to the truck itself this is not for pulling really heavy cargo as i said personally 15 ton max and just let it roll this is my advice and basically this is it if you have any ideas if you have any complaints and any and all thoughts that you want to share with me don't hesitate to write them down in the comments down below if you like this video and if you didn't like this video please hit subscribe hit the thumbs up and hit the notification button because it really cannot be under underestimated at this point it helps me a lot until next time this was the badger out